Let's welcome back Jackie Thu Hung Wong, first five California's executive director. Jackie, for those who are joining us today for the first time, can you briefly recap what First Five California is currently doing? Of course. Our latest Stronger Stars campaign is raising awareness targeted towards uh, California parents and caregivers by providing resources and information to help families buffer against the effects of toxic stress that are caused by adverse childhood experiences, also known as ACEs. What we know about ACEs, that can lead to toxic stress response and actually uh, impact, have a physiological and psychological impact on children. You mentioned toxic stress. Can you explain what it is? Yeah, thank you. Really, really great question. Toxic stress is our body's prolonged exposure to trauma and be harmful to children if nothing is done to stop it. Stop it. So, um, so toxic stress is different from normal everyday commonplace stress, like when a child is learning how to try tie a shoe or we're shopping for the holidays. This really is a deeper uh, triggered response, if you will, to the ACEs. When a child goes through these difficult experiences, they can experience this type of stress. And without a specific and adequate supports from caregivers and adults in their lives, the stress can turn into toxic stress. What we do know is children growing up uh, with long-term toxic stress can actually have trouble forming healthy, stable relationships. Given the serious health issues that toxic stress can lead to, Jackie, can you share some practical tips to help children better cope with toxic stress and ACEs? Absolutely. When we create safe, stable nurturing relationships and environments for our children, we know from a scientific research standpoint that that buffer is against this toxic stress response, right? So uh, how do we create those safe, stable nurturing relationships and environments? We establish routines around bedtime and mealtime, bath time, and other daily activities. Like when you come home from preschool or your learning center, sit down and do your homework, have the snack, right? The bath time, doing those at regular intervals creates that stability that a lot of um, children need to uh, combat and address and a buffer against ACEs. Creating positive relationships with all the adults in, in, your, in their lives, their teachers, their grandparents, their elders, right? Um, and my, one of my favorite things is doing fun and positive activities to connect and bond, such as reading and singing. And for me, um, sharing story like about like our, our family history and all of those um, kind of fables and tales that really make us who we are, kind of who we are culturally and connecting with our children. So when we provide these safe, stable, nurturing relationships and um, environments for children, they will be able to cope with difficult situations. Even as young as two or three years old, parents can develop that stability, that routine to their children so that they know and that they can rely and depend on the parents. Yeah, I, I would, some would argue that actually in utero, you can start talking and singing to your child in utero. Um, I always uh, kind of love to share this story is that I started to put my child down at bedtime um, when they, before they were one year old at 8.30 every day. And now they're teenagers and they still, that's the, the routine that they actually now need to get some rest and 8.30 every single day. So I think uh, be it, I, in, in utero um, all the way up to, um, for us five, but really and beyond creating that again, what they can expect in routines, their day-to-day -day routines. The early, the better. The earlier, the better. Good to know. Good. What other things parents and caregivers can do to stop toxic stress before it starts? Yeah, we're so proud of the four interventions that we created through the Stronger Starts campaign. And it's the four Bs, right? So one is to be calm, be steady, be there, be present, and be nurturing. The first one is, again, a lot of times young children are trying to, and sometimes adults, try to kind of figure out um like what's going on, the emotions can be a little bit chaotic. So when you exude calmness, they feel everything that we feel, right? Um, so walk them through if they're frustrated or angry or fearful or sad. So it's important for us as we are helping them work through those emotions to be calm and steady is the second one is leading into steadiness, which is again, um, what we talked about, like creating those steady and stable home environments and routines so they know what to expect. And sometimes life happens. So 
today, like mommy can't pick you up, but daddy or grandma or somebody else will pick you up from school. So they can expect, so kind of create a steadiness and an expectation of steadiness and stability. Um, also reading at the same time every single night, taking the same, the bath and again, very important for our community. I know doing the homework at the same time before you go to bed. Uh, the third one is to be there, be present, spend some quality time together, um, find time, some time during the day, even just a few seconds to say, you know, how are you doing? Um, my child actually like asked that the other day when we were doing like, mom, you didn't ask me about this thing. I'm like, oh, okay, now you expect it, which is really for me just so um, humbling to like see kind of what, how I invested and created these safe, stable relationship and environments where they expect to be checked in on so that they can share with me their day to be, to be there and be present. And the fourth is actually to be nurturing. Um, take a, you know, take time to just bring up joy and connect with your child through storytelling and the history. Um, babies with babies, you can actually give little gentle massages to be nurturing. And I, oftentimes I find that when you are pouring love and nurturing your, your child um, is actually, it's healing for ourselves uh, as well, right? So it's that connectedness that it's not just one way, it's actually bi-directional. And so when we're able to connect with our children, we actually become healed from our own potential aces and triggers. That is so amazing to know what you just share. And as you were sharing about the four Bs, Jackie, I can picture the four Bs equal to L-O-V-E, love. Yep. Children, don't we all need love? Without love, no one can exist and can live, especially children. Yeah. And that's exactly, that's exactly right, Victoria. That is our campaign. We are, but I always say it's also science and research-based, right? This is not just a feel-good theoretical. It is that there is data that shows us that we, when we, uh, the four, the, the four interventions, four Bs is love. And that is really what we, we know uh, in our nature. And but sometimes we get so busy in our day-to-day -day that we forget those kind of moments because we're rushing from one thing to another. And so absolutely, how do you create those more loving present environments for our children and for ourselves? Jackie, you wear a lot of different hats and impact your community in many ways. Tell us about yourself, Jackie. Yeah, so I've had three decades of experience working for children and originally trained as a school-based uh, social worker. Um, you know, I work in, in education communities. I, I, you know, serve on my local board. Um, but and I've been advocating for children and families' needs over these three years. I grew up as an English language learner, though you wouldn't know it now. English is my predominant language. Um, and for me, I am just grateful to be able to pay it forward. Right? Um, there are people and generations who sacrificed for me, including my parents, to be here, to be able to give back. And what I've learned about my community. Oh my gosh, <laughs> is the importance of being connected and rooted in our history, in our why, generations, thousands of years of warriors. So true. Right? And we persevere and we're resilient. And so I'm able to be here today with these three years, uh, three decades, if you will, of supporting my communities, um, our communities, our families, our children because those sacrifices were provided to me before for me to be here in this position to give back. You are not only the first Vietnamese woman to lead First Five California, Jackie, but the first woman of color. How does your background help guide your leadership? So growing as a, as a child, um, a Vietnamese American refugee, it's shaped everything I do in life. Right, we know that um, one in five children in, in California is being raised in poverty, which impacts ACEs. We as refugee, as a refugee community, came here with nothing. So we came here impoverished, right? And so, um, and we know that when children are supported in these healthy environments coming out of trauma, things like that my mom, um, that I'm grateful for my mom and my parents for, she took care of me um, when I was young ages zero to five, without any really substantive public resources. She taught me how to read, taught me English, taught me how to sing, taught me how to respect my elders, learning about my history, right? Um, learning about how to be kind and giving back to our community. Both my parents taught me that because when we came here, 
there, there wasn't family. We didn't know where we would be. So we had to, commu to uh, create community in our Vietnamese community and find, and I'm sure a lot of people understand, opening up the phone book, finding who that was. Is there a win here? Is there a who here? Who are the other Vietnamese people in our neighborhood? So for me, I've dedicated my entire life to addressing inequity and justice, and especially for young children. What I know is if we start early from my own lived experience and provide the necessary support and interventions and provide parents and caregivers the tools, we can absolutely change our outcomes. Because I stand here before you, is those are the sacrifices my parents and generations before them gave me. And so I just wanna pay that forward to our next generation of children. Jackie, thank you so much for joining us today. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us before we have to say goodbye? No, thank you so much for having me. And we, what we know is the right support and interventions make a, a, a difference. And again, by learning new ways of interacting with our children, connecting with our children, um, it will buffer against the, uh, the negative impact of toxic stress response. If you wanna learn more, we encourage you, um, we hate you, we hope that you do, uh, go to first5california.com. Rất mong quý vị sẽ vào cái mạng đó là first5california.com để biết thêm chi tiết. Cảm ơn Jackie Thu Hưng rất là nhiều uh, nói chuyện với chúng tôi ngày hôm nay về cái đề tài đó là đề tài về uh, toxic stress, những trẻ em dưới 5 tuổi uh, có những cái 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 bệnh hoặc là những cái nan đề mà nhiều khi bố mẹ cũng như là ông bà gia đình không biết là những con em mình cần những cái sự giúp đỡ. Cảm ơn Jackie rất là nhiều và mong rằng là Jackie sẽ trở lại với chúng tôi trong những chương trình kế tiếp. Thank you Jackie. Yeah, không có chi cảm ơn nhiều nhé Victoria. Gặp Bye. sau nhé. Bye. Bye.